Hey guys, it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and we're doing Vlogmas! We're actually doing a mini Vlogmas, so we're gonna go for the first two weeks of December. Vlog every day from the first, which you're watching today, hopefully, all the way until the uh, like 13th. So, uh, <laughs> we're just gonna do a little sum sum, okay? Okay. Currently, you are in my bathroom. I just washed my face, which is why there's water on my shirt. But uh, it's Sunday, it's about 12 p.m. I'm putting my skincare on, so I thought I would just invite you into my day as we start with skincare. So CeraVe, this is the uh, facial moisturizing lotion, broad spectrum 30, one of my faves. This is actually the second bottle I um, am on. So it's Sunday, Sunday is the day where we like to just get set up for the upcoming week. We have already uh, planned our meals for the week. We had our groceries delivered yesterday from Amazon Fresh. And then, um, what else? We've already done most laundry, I just have one more load and then to fold some clothes. Um, the house is pretty clean already. So it's really just a matter of um, planning out my week and that kind of thing. So I thought I would bring you guys along. Also, as Ashley uh, until Vacuum Do Us Part says, I have the itch to switch to my beauty room. It's like every two months, three months, I'm like, ah, <laughs> we gotta do it again. So uh, basically I have found, so we're not, Okay, we're not minimalist by any stretch of the imagination, but I do want to not necessarily have less, but everything we own has a function, it has a home, and it has a place in our daily life. So I'm not someone who just wants to go get rid of a bunch of stuff. I want to kind of work through like if they're products or if they're like uh, something like that, I want to use it up and then not repurchase it or uh, if it's like clothes or something like that, then I just want to make sure, like I'm really sure that I'm done with it before I get rid of it. But anyways, this is First Aid Beauty uh, Eye Duty Triple Remedy. So if you guys have been on my channel for a little while, you know that I'm doing a skincare project pan. So I have been going through all of my products at one by one, actually using it up and then making a decision about what to repurchase because I really want my skincare to be very simple and fragrance free and all that. So I've been using everything up and we've also been, well I've been reorganizing all of our stuff so it's like out in front of our face. So we use it a lot, I'll show you guys here in a second. So I want to do a similar thing in my beauty room where all my makeup is displayed and uh, so I'm not spending so much time in drawers looking at it, but I can just look in my, go in my beauty room and immediately see it. Cause I do want to do a, a quarterly no buy in the new year. So at the end of each quarter, I can choose to buy something or not, and then go into the next quarter not buying anything. And I do actually have a haul, a Black Friday haul in this video. So like, excuse everything we're saying for this video, but. That, that's my plan. That's why I want to reorganize it. I want all my makeup to be displayed and cute and like easy to grab and I think it will make the weekly makeup baskets kind of fun. Um, I'm going to put the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask on my lips because my lips are very dry. So I hope you guys had a good holiday, a good Thanksgiving. I hope you guys ate a lot of food and then didn't feel bad about it. <laughs> Time to get back into our routine, y'all. It's time to get back in our routine. So let's go pour a big glass of water. Um, okay, so let me show you the organization that I was talking about. So next to our um, vanity in the bathroom, I have this cart. And on the top are all the products I use every single day. So I have my um, CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion, CeraVe uh, Foaming Facial Cleanser, as you can see, I've become quite a fan of CRV. Um, and then I have like my makeup remover, the deep cleansing by DH, uh, a dip, deep cleansing oil by DHC. I have a toner by Andalou Naturals. I have the Tarte Knockout Tingling Treatment. Um, a couple of deodorants, the lotion I just showed you. 
I'm using up the uh, Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe sage and orange blossom and then I'm trying to work through the fresh black tea kombucha facial treatment essence so that is all my skincare and then I have wipes these were sent as a free gift in my Grove order semi recently so I want to um, use those and then here are just like glasses, contacts, and then some make light makeup that I wear to the gym. I talked about that in my gym makeup, or no, my gym bag video. <laughs> I'll link that below. But then I have um, earrings. And then if you go down, this is towels. We have a oil diffuser. I like using this mostly when we have company in town. I'll put like the Purify and let this run like the whole time that we have company here just to keep the bathroom like feeling fresh smelling fresh y'all y'all feel me <laughs> but these are washcloths for washing my face and then this brush that i sometimes use i used it today and then down here are all of the skincare products that i've gone through since starting that um project pan and some i have talked about in the video and some have been recently added there's the, the first one that I mentioned. And once I'm finished going through basically everything, we're down to this, then um, I'll make some decisions on what I want to repurchase. I do have some stuff in here. I have um, some serums and some lotions. This is what I use on my psoriasis. This is what I use um, for my psoriasis when I have a, a flare up and it will kill it pretty quickly. Um, hair ties, that kind of thing. This is above the toilet and this is where I used to keep my skincare. And I think just anytime something is hidden behind doors or in drawers, it's just so easy to forget about it. So now we just have like our flossers, my hairbrush, um, just random stuff. And then this is the rest of my skincare that I'm working through. So I have um, makeup remover, this is from Lancome, I have some hair products, I have some lip products, and then these are the essential oils that I use from Grove. This is the Purify one that I mentioned, and then I also have the Awake one. Um, yeah, and then I have some perfumes. And then this is the bathroom closet, which kind of probably looks like a mess, but everything used to be in these bins, and then we would forget what was in here, and then we'd be repurchasing, like, uh, medicine and band-aids and that kind of thing. So now everything is just easy to grab. There we go. So we have aloe, um, sun care, alcohol, and then we have, uh, hydrogen peroxide. And uh, this is all medicine, whether it's like Sudafed, Band-Aids, um, wound care, you know, that kind of thing. And then uh, Q-tips, toothbrush, or sorry, toothpaste, pressed 3D white strips. It's just that kind of thing. And this is kind of a bucket of random stuff that we're slowly working through as well. But then we have towels, sheets, and you come up um candles this and this are candles towels and then this is just like big medical stuff that i didn't know what to do with like braces and that kind of thing um apple cider vinegar and then this is where i keep my empty product. here's morty he's always close by hi mama this is the current state of our i say our the beauty room so i want to keep this part the same but move a shelf in here that i have and just i want to put this in my bedroom closet and yeah Whoa. we'll see what happens. you might be wondering what jared's doing sitting here <laughs> you don't have to turn on the light for that the living room you might see the projector he's playing video games <laughs> <laughs> uh i just got a projector from a friend so i'm trying it out <laughs> it's working pretty good. Are you gonna cook for them today? Sure. What do you want? This, did you say you want to make the soup? Sure. Yeah. We're gonna do a uh, a beef stew, minus the beef, mm -hmm. with the beef stock. <laughs> pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple. But it's the way that I like it. It's uh, you know what you would uh, find at a hospital. <laughs> or a <Gosh>. school. <laughs> so nothing truly special, uh, but definitely uh, home cooked comfort, mm -hmm. warm, delicious. Uh, 
Yeah. It'll be good. You know, I just, I, I like the squishy peas. I like the can, <laughs> the canned green beans. When you make a, a vegetable beef stew, I mean, that's how I like it anyway. Yeah. It's comforting. It is comforting. We have a new goal of being 80% plant-based. So we're still eat meat and we'll still have like processed food and stuff like 20% of the time, but we want the majority of our diet to be plant-based. Yeah. No, no nitrates. Nitrates. Yeah. If we could, if we could do that and focus on, you know, decent sized cut of meat, mm -hmm. you know, chicken, beef, yeah, what have you, and then my body craves uh, vegetables. It truly does, and when I get it, it right. just it feels so good. So uh, I, I know that sounds strange, but uh, when I met her. All she ate was Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts, <laughs> chicken, and what was it, potatoes? Probably. Yeah, something like that. Uh-huh. Um, was it rice? Uh, she had three things where it was <laughs> non-stop. And it was all uh, throw it in the microwave, steam it kind of thing. I don't like cooking meat especially. I'm just nervous I'm going to get it she wrong. She like cutting. And she hates touching meat. Oh, my God. <laughs> If she would ever have to take out a bone or, oh. or vein or... Y'all, story time. So when we were dating, I was eating like he just described. <coughs> and he's like, I'm going to come over and I'm going to make you a meal. And I'm going to make you a chicken. And I'm thinking like a chicken breast. Like, he literally brought over a chicken and like cleaned it out and put it in the oven and then like shaved it. And I was like... I shaved it? Well, you know, like cut it, like, <laughs> into slices. I don't know. And that's when he truly learned how picky I was because I was like, I don't want that piece. I don't want that piece. I don't want that piece. I was like, oh boy. <laughs> what did I get myself into? Um, She's a princess, and I love every, every ounce of it. But we have learned in the last, um, I would say, three months that our bodies really agree with the eating plant-based like he's been doing um morning smoothies and like chia seeds uh spinach fruits uh almond milk protein and it's really like made him feel good and he's lost some weight from it um and then i've been doing a lot more like veggies and that kind of thing and it, i find that it just keeps the weight off and i know you guys looking at me and knowing i do fitness you probably think it's like oh it's whatever whatever right. but I put on weight really fast like it's my genetics to put on weight last summer when we spent like two weeks traveling to see family and friends I put on eight pounds just in two weeks and it's and it's probably for me too because I well, I'll, <laughs> I'll throw an extra butter for me, you know? so I just know realistically I you know to be healthy and to be at a weight that your body feels comfortable with um, for us, that's plant-based. So we just need to make it uh, intentional until it becomes like our habit, and then we won't have to focus on it so much because it'll just be yeah, what we do. Consistency you know, just, is huge. It's just like anything else, you know. Teaching, you know, mm -hmm. you have to be consistent. Uh, being healthy, same thing. You know? Right. Also, we're we're not huge into Christmas decorating as far as like over the top but we got some stuff up so we have these little stockings hanging one's for me jared lily lily's our other dog and morty's the little one <laughs> and then we have of course our tree which we got from menards last year it's a flock tree that is pre-lit and we like it and there are dumbbells next to it <laughs> Uh, and then we just have like some decorative like pillows and stuff. We're just real simple. But we do have this little town that Jared has. I don't know. I guess it's been gifted to him from his family yeah, over the years. Yeah, I was 11. So 1991 or so, my, my, my dad and stepmother started getting me those <clears throat> so that's pretty much the extent of our christmas decorations they're they're uh dickens christmas village 
Alright guys, I want to show you what I got from the Black Friday deals. I didn't buy a lot, so let me just take a second if you're new here, if you just found me through Vlogmas. I'm Abby, and I've had my channel on YouTube for about five years. Um, we're a small fam here. Uh, my channel is mostly uh, makeup related, but I do throw in vlogs like this, and we did Vlogmas last year, and we did the full time, so I just couldn't let go of doing some type of vlogmas so that's why we're doing just a mini two-week version of it but um i switched from being a high school guidance counselor so a full-time stable job to pursue my dreams of doing fitness full-time so now i work part-time at the ymca's doing um part-time program coordinator i am um personal trainer and a group fitness instructor and I teach Les Mills format, uh, Body Pump currently, and I'm about to get certified on Body Flow, which I'm excited about. And then I teach other formats, like I teach a uh, older, active older adult class, it's like Silver Sneakers. I teach a small group training class, which is their version of kind of the Orange Theory format. Um, and then I just teach like strength and endurance classes. And then I also run my own business, Make Life Fit, where I am a online fitness coach. So I work with clients for six months at a time. So it's a time and money investment in each other. And I help people reach their fitness goals through phone. We do phone calls or video chats and it's weekly check-ins and we just create goals together and knock them out together. And I also write workout programs for them. So that's what I do full time. And it's, I am growing like we're going uphill, right? If it were like a pie chart or not a pie chart, like a chart, a bar graph. We're going up, right? But it's just a slow process to like establish my business and build a client base and that kind of thing. Um, so I haven't been buying a lot of makeup, hence like the no buys that you've seen a lot on my channel and then, then me talking about it earlier in this video. Um, but I had my last Ulta gift card and then um, Jared said he'd buy me some makeup from Ulta, which is like, it's both our money, but I'm like, okay. <laughs> So I'm going to show you. So I only got things from Ulta and then I didn't buy anything else. I just stuck with Ulta. So they had good deals and I saw that their Cyber Monday deals are going to be pretty good. But I think I'm done. <laughs> so I did both an order online which came with like two days. It was insane. And then I did go into store which the in store wasn't planned but um we were meeting a friend and we had some time to kill and there happened to be an Ulta there so i mean like you have to when in rome, when in rome you gotta go <laughs> all right so the things that were part of the deal was the um two-faced melted matte gingerbread this is the girl one and this is one of my favorite lipstick formulas for a matte lipstick in particular it's just very um i wouldn't say it's like hydrating but it just doesn't make your lips look super wrinkly and that kind of thing so this is what the color looks like it's a gorgeous like brick burnt orange color so i'm really excited to wear this guy and i wanted the man one the gingerbread man but um, I know Too Faced had it on sale, so this was on sale for $12.50 at Ulta. And then Too Faced had them for $12.50 as well. But I just, I mean, it's just like, I don't need to have, I don't need to own everything, okay? And then free with purchase was the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I do really enjoy this mascara. And then I love the Becca Ultimate Lip um, formula so I was excited when they had this kit so this was originally $25 and it was on sale for $17.97 or something like that and I will say I just didn't really look at how big they were but they are really small which is good like who goes through a whole lipstick um, especially getting it on the sale price I'm glad that I got it uh, but if you miss out on this maybe just go get one color that you want and says that because it's $25 instead of spending $25 on the three sample sizes. But this is what they look like. So they're su super small. And I do have a full size. So you can see like a comparison of them. 
And then I'll also show you a comparison of how much product is in it. So this one is called Sugar. And it's like this really pretty brown taupe color. I haven't worn any of this makeup. Oh, so pretty. So let me show you what how much product comes in a full one. So this one is in taupe. This came in BoxyCharm a while back, and I just love the formula. Um, but there is the difference in how much uh in a full versus a mini this formula is nice because it is moisturizing it is kind of long wearing for a moisturizing lipstick and it doesn't like go everywhere because some moisturizing lipsticks almost feel like a gloss and then they start like spreading everywhere <laughs> but this one is called rosewood which is a pretty red not like a true red color maybe more like a brown red so pretty and then the other one that came in the kit was orchid and it's like a true brown color actually it ends up looking kind of neutral i will swatch taupe just in case you're curious so this is taupe at the top and then those bottom three are from the kits love it absolutely love it yes 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 okay and then we have um, Too Faced Gingerbread Girl. I will go ahead and swatch this. Ooh, she's dark. Okay. Cute. Cute. Can't wait to wear that. Those are the lipsticks that I picked up. And those were all part of the sale. The other things I got were not part of the sale. They're just things that I wanted. <laughs> so, you barely ever get lipsticks. I know. I'm on a lipstick kick. I'm trying to find formulas that I like. <laughs> This is BH Glowing in Grease, uh, BH Cosmetics. This is a six color blush and highlight palette. I love face palettes, they're like my favorite thing. And I recently heard Casey Holmes talking about, I don't know if it was this particular one, but she was using uh, one of their face palettes and I was like, I need it. So I love that it's like a nice mix of peachy colors here and then you have a darker one and then three highlights so Mykonos is a nice peach color Peros is a darker peach color Santa Torini is like this darker color these are the three colors they look really pretty and then as far as the highlights go Athens ooh ooh that's my color ooh a nice pink in the middle and then the champagne oh hey yes hello here for it that's really pretty so you have these and these you're welcome for the swatch pl placement <laughs> excited to use that and then the last two things were not on sale I did use the 350 off $15 coupon but I just really wanted to try them and uh, one of, well I'm going on a no buy in January and then in particular in the foundation and concealer category so I need just to get them now. <laughs> like the worst mindset ever. But anyways, we have the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. So I have really dry skin and so when the matte ones came out it wasn't really my thing. But now that they have the Hydrate one, I'm really excited to try it and I've heard really good things. So I wanted to go in store to color match it. But uh, again, it's Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Foundation. And it's a medium and full coverage foundation. And I got mine in F4. Um, so I haven't even applied this to my face. And honestly on Sundays I don't really wear makeup. So maybe tomorrow we can do like a first impression of it. But. Ugh. Oops. Really pretty like rose gold packaging. And it does have a pump. I think the matte one has a wand, if I'm not mistaken. But, like I said, this is F4, and that is the color. So I think that's going to be a pretty good match for me. Yeah, I think so. Okay, and then the final thing was the uh, concealer that goes with it, which is the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. Same Radiance Concealer. Uh, mine is in C. 
three. So I almost bought these online with the first order, but I just really couldn't tell the colors online. And from the videos I've seen, people were saying it was kind of hard to match their color. So I really wanted to be in person so I could play with the, the tester. Um, so like I said, this one is in C3. Um, and this one, of course, is a wand, and it's like a nice thick wand. And I'm glad that I went, because I almost got C4, but I really do think C3 is a good color match for me. It's going to really brighten my under eyes. I do like my concealer to be just like a little, just a little bit brighter than my face. So that's what that looks like. Alright, I, man, Jared, do I have the strength to clean this room? Oh, I believe in you. Thank you. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to fast forward me cleaning in here. Um, because this video I think is going to be kind of long. And not all Vlogmas videos are going to be this long. Um, it's just kind of a chill day at home. But the videos, not all videos are going to be this long. And not all videos are going to be true vlogs. I... <clears throat> I want to stick to my makeup content for the most part. I'll have project pan updates. I'll have the weekly makeup basket. I'll have get ready with me's. And I'll also have de finishing my declutter series for the winter what? 2019. The what? The weekly makeup basket. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, and then also one of my, well, a couple of my clients have mentioned that they, um, they're willing to have me like record more of their sessions so I can put it on social media. So I'm going to email my clients. I email them every week with, um, I guess the calendar or their training schedule. I've created a community with my clients and, um, pretty much all of them are at one location. And so I just, well, I asked for their permission first, but I just send out every week. Uh, when I have them scheduled, especially around like holidays or like heavy travel travel seasons like summer Just so that we're all clear because people are at normal training spots the normal um, And then things kind of die down once those heavy like holiday or traveling seasons are over So I do need to touch base with them and I'm also going to ask who wants to be in vlogmas or who's willing to have their session in vlogmas last year you guys saw Maggie and Chelsea and you guys have seen Chelsea since then, um, I think in a day in a life as well. But I think I want to take them up on their offer of being uh, on social media more just to show you guys more of what I do. I'll have my website linked down below. It's MakeLifeFitLLC.com. But also my um, social media I have two. One Instagram is Make Life Fit with one underscore. That's like the fitness one. And then Make Life Your Runway with one underscore is like the YouTube one. So you can follow both or just pick whichever category you're interested in. Um, I post more of my personal stuff on the fitness one. <laughs> um, but yeah, I haven't posted actually Wednesday until today, Sunday. I haven't posted on social media. I posted that I'm taking a social media break, um, just to allow myself to relax and take the pressure off myself. But, um, we're back. We're back. <laughs> all right. So I'm just going to fast forward all of this. So it's not super long. You'll see some of the process and then I will show you the after if we make it to the after I also need to um, update my to-do list for today so okay this is the bookshelf I was talking about um, so this was in my bedroom and I've had it for a really long time and so what I'm thinking is we will display the makeup on here my chair will go back here this will stay here um, this may go on top of here. We'll see how that looks. And then we will move all my makeup out of here, display it, and then um, this will go in my closet in my bedroom. So then um, this space will be empty here. It's kind of what I'm thinking. So we'll see what it looks like.
Alright guys, this is what it looks like. So, we have a makeup basket on top, brushes here, and lipsticks, and then you go down, and it's face products, uh, Project Pan items that I'm picking for a Project Pan in January, more face products, then we have a mix of more Project Pan items, um, this is our community makeup basket items with the melt stacks in front of it, and then this is eyeshadows, and then down below are eyeshadows, eyeshadows, and face products. So here's a close up. I like how it turned out. Um, it looks cute. I'm sure I'll play with it a lot more as time goes on. But this is an overview. And then I'll show you the room. I kept obviously the chair and this part the same. I need to clean my desk off. But I moved this chair back in here and then I moved this one over here. I just think it makes it look cozier. So I like what happened. So I moved the other um, IKEA 5 into my bedroom. It's just sitting in there. I need to work on that. I need to clean off the top. But I like what's happening here. She's cute. She's cute. So yay. Now let's make stew. Alright guys, I was just editing day one and we're at 33 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and put the stew, the meal plan, and do a first impressions of the products haul today and day two so that this video doesn't go on for too long. So I look forward to being with you all every day for the next two weeks for Vlog Minimus. I can't believe Vlogmas 2019 is here. I'm so excited to watch everybody's video. And yeah, thank you all so much for tuning in and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.